let's unbox this Bravo kit. Inside the packaging, you will find the Bravo board. It's inside an anti-static wrapper. Please ensure you remove it from this before operation. The kit contains the board itself. It contains header connectors, which facilitate connection to Raspberry Pi or Arduino boards. And it contains a USB cable, which allows you to connect the board to a PC to drive the modem. Let's take a look at the board itself. The Bravo board hosts the Tele ME910 C1WW Global CAT-M plus narrow band with 2G fallback modem. It has an embedded printed circuit board antenna at one end of the PCB. It has two RF connections. One is for GNSS. This can be connected to a GNSS active antenna for positioning. And there's one for an external cellular antenna, which is not connected by default but can be enabled with a small board modification as detailed in the user guide. Then we have the Bosch sensors. We have the BME680. We have the BHI160B and the BMM150. Along the top we have the power supply connector. This can be used if you don't want to use the USB as a power source. There's a battery pack connector which allows truly portable operation. And there are two USB connectors. One of these is connected to the modem's UART via an FTDI UART to serial conversion chip. This allows you to access the physical UART port of the modem and will enumerate as a single serial device under Windows or Linux. The other is directly connected to the modem's USB port and will enumerate as multiple interfaces. Then we have the micro SIM holder. There are also several points where you can solder those strip connectors to directly access the modem's I.O. You can inter interface directly to the UART, the GPIO, the SPI, DVI and the ADC. All these connections are described in the hardware user manual which you can download from telet.com forward slash bravo. Please note the two switches at the front. These control how the UART serial interface from the modem is routed. This can either be directly to the FTDI USB conversion chip and out of the USB connector, or they can be routed to the Arduino or Raspberry Pi interface. The board has three user programmable LEDs and it has two user programmable push buttons. These are interfaced to the GPIO lines of the ME910 and can be programmed to emulate any kind of actuator or provide any kind of status indication. Before your Bravo board will register to a network, you have to ensure the SIM is inserted correctly. Please ensure that you use a 3FF SIM, that the contacts are facing down and the cutout is facing away from you. Push the SIM into the SIM holder in this orientation and ensure that it's inserted fully. Next, we're going to plug in the USB connection. You have a choice. You can either interface to the connector marked XE910 or you can interface to the FTDI. The XE910 interfaces to the modem's native USB interface. The FTDI connection interfaces to the modem's UART via an FTDI to USB converter. For this test, we're going to connect to the XE910 interface. Please ensure the USB connection is inserted fully, like this. Please connect the other end of the USB cable to a suitable USB port on your PC. Once you've successfully connected your Bravo board to the USB interface of your laptop, you will see the green LED is illuminated. The next step is to press and hold down the on-off button on the Bravo board for at least 10 seconds. Assuming you've powered on the Bravo kit, installed the USB drivers under Windows or Linux and downloaded the Telet AT controller application from the telet.com forward slash Bravo homepage, you can now go ahead and start working with the module. The first step is to configure the COM port. Click on settings and on the COM port drop down select the Telet USB modem. Leave all other options as default and click OK. Next, click on the connect button. 
Immediately you will see the IMEI, the manufacturer, model and firmware version of the connected cellular module populated in the middle of the Tele AT controller dialog box. Now you can click on the AT terminal button in the bottom right and you are ready to begin sending AT commands to the modem. Firstly, check the SIM card is present and doesn't have a pin set. This will prevent the module from registering on the network. To do this, send the AT command AT plus C pin question mark. The response should be plus C pin ready, indicating that no pin is required. If you see an error at this stage, please check the SIM is inserted correctly on the Bravo board. After this, you can check the device is registered by sending AT plus COPS question mark. If the status 1 comma 0 is shown with the network name, then the device is registered and you can proceed to test the IP functions as listed in the quick start guides. Please be aware that out of the box at the very first switch on, the Telet roaming sim can take a minute or two to find the local carriers and allow the Bravo board to register, so please be patient. Please visit telet.com forward slash bravo. From this landing page, you'll be able to access all the necessary tools and documentation to begin your evaluation of the Telet Bravo platform. We suggest you download the Bravo Quick Start Guide, the Bravo Hardware Manual, the ME910C180 Command Document, and the ME910 Quick Start Guide. We've included both Windows and Linux USB drivers, and a useful application called Telet AT Controller. This will allow you to send AT commands to the Bravo board. Thank <laughs> you.